No letting up for Floridians who tonight hunker down and brace for the worst as extremely dangerous Cat 5 Hurricane Milton threatens to unleash life-threatening storm surges, flooding rain and punishing winds on the Sunshine State, still very much in the throes of recovering from Hurricane Helene, which just days ago unleashed its fury there, leaving in its wake destruction and death. Joining us in studio tonight, Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean. Basil, from all accounts, Hurricane Milton rapidly strengthened from a cat two to five in just a few hours today. While we're still in the throes of what was always predicted to be a very active hurricane season, is it correct to say this still is atypical activity? It is a very active season, as was predicted, and there's more still to come. Uh, but Milton rapidly intensified, as you correctly said uh, this afternoon, to a Category 5 hurricane packing winds now of 180 miles per hour. It's moving towards the east at about 10 miles per hour. However, our computer models are suggesting that Milton will take that turn towards the northeast within a day or two, and that will take aim for the Tampa, Florida area. So here in the Bahamas, we are continuing to experience uh, some rain showers and thunderstorms. This is not associated uh, with Milton. Instead, there's an area of low pressure that has formed on a frontal boundary just to the north of us, and that frontal boundary will side towards the uh, southeast over the next uh, day or so, maintaining these showers in the areas over the next a few days. But as Milton approaches, uh, we expect to see it uh, take uh, a turn towards the northeast, and that will take place sometime by late Tuesday uh, into Wednesday, and that is when it will start to weaken again into a Category 4. So hopefully it will make landfall as a Category 3 uh, hurricane on the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, moving well to the north of the Bahamas, and that will keep us in the gale force wind uh, range. So certainly we'll see an elevation in our winds come Wednesday and Thursday for the extreme northwestern Bahamas, particularly Bimini, Grand Bahama, and the Abacos. They will experience those uh, gale force with us here in the capital. We will have these uh, long periods of uh, rains with occasional uh, downpours. So flooding will be the main issue of this system as it treks towards the north and east. Makishla. Now we hear you throwing out some numbers, uh, three, four, and five in terms of intensity. Um, give us a better idea of what's actually fueling this particular form. She, it's moving fast, it's, it's growing by the hour or hours. What's behind all this? Well, it's moving relatively uh, slowly at about 10 miles per hour, but we expect when it makes that turn towards the north and east, but picked up uh, by that uh, jet stream, and that will accelerate it towards the northeast. So we're expecting some increase in the forward speed as of Wednesday, which will uh, push it across the Florida Peninsula and out back into the open waters of the Atlantic. Well, you can expect to hear more from Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean in our later, later newscast. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.